come here to celebrate the founding uh, of, uh, of the OAU, as well as the milestones that we've taken as a continent in Africa, such as um, the inception of the African Continental Free Trade Area. At the Africa Philanthropy Network, which is a community of individuals and uh, organizations who are really Africans, um, uh, formed by African, led by African, promoting the culture of philanthropy, ensuring that we are influencing for the recognition of African ways of bringing about development uh, are recognized because we believe that is the way we can bring about long-term um, long, long term and lasting change in the continent. And also at APN for us, when we say African philanthropy, we really mean the voice, the action and resources. And today here we are celebrating the voices of our young people. And we really are looking forward to ensuring that uh, going forward, the, the, the pact, like um, the, the free trade area pact, um, listening to and including the voices of young um, Africans into uh, ensuring that we are together working to bring about development. <laughs> So good afternoon to all. It's Africa Day. We're supposed to be able to greet in our yeah. our dialect. Mm. I didn't manage to get all of them, but I've tried to just have some of them. So the Mandela Institute for Development Studies, just to give a short background, it's a think tank that provides a platform for networking, research, dialogue. On the fight on African heritage. And this partnership is really an occasion for us to really portray what we want to achieve for the continent. And we are happy to see today that the intergenerational conversation that we have from our elders and youth, how we can make a reality of the FCTA to have a continent where good and people can move freely. Uh, the 25th of May is the 60th anniversary of the formation of the African Union. Uh, and we're talking about the predecessor, which was the Organization of African Unity. So it is a very important milestone in our continent's history. But we are not here to look back, we're here to look forward. And indeed, the slogan for these years, Africa Day, is Our Africa, Our Future. At Vets Business School, our mission is to develop the next generation of leaders. The future is in the hands of our youth. And as an academic institution, it is our responsibility to ensure that our future leaders have the knowledge and skills to tackle the future challenges of our society. Uh, uh, let, me, let me provoke you. Uh, it seems like African dreams take a very, 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 very long time to materialize. Or, I don't know whether they are dreams or these were visions or they're in the traditions where I come from, we have even seers, people who can see the future, the Nkrumahs of the world. Uh, you may say they were dreaming, they were, they were in the vision, or they were, probably they were seers. And those of us, uh, my parents are in the generation that uh, experience part colonialism and then uh, new independent Africa uh, with a lot of promise. Then I never got that particular chance. But I had the chance of being born during when majority of the founding fathers of Africa were still alive. This agreement, once we implement it and successfully do so, it should enable uh, the continent uh, to scale up in terms of value uh, and so on and so forth. So this architecture 
the agreement and all the protocol that it has uh, should trigger for us and is expected to do so uh, to increase, first of all, our intra-Africa trade from the current law of, uh, I think by the time the agreement was uh, being negotiated, the figure that we knew then was 14%. Now it's right, it risen to about 17, 18%. We need to drive this to towards 25% of intra-Africa trade. So these youth entrepreneurship investment banks will establish a funding scheme, a credit guarantee scheme, and technical assistance programs to strengthen providers of services to entrepreneurs. So basically concessional loans with long repayment periods, capacity building, mentorship, and financial skills to empower youth um, entrepreneurs. So in, in terms of uh, policy support, these youth banks will also advocate to government um, for the business enabling environment reforms needed to catalyze youth um, entrepreneurship. All of our institutions, no matter how imperfect they are, they are majoritarian. The majority actually counts. If you agitate, the politicians cannot afford to ignore you. And we've demonstrated in many countries outcomes of elections when young people go out with clarity as to what they want to do, they always influence the outcome of the election. What they are not doing as yet is to focus on the quality of the election. Even you, as young people, are still caught up in silly tribal issues. So to date, I've worked with slightly over 7,000 businesses on the African continent. Um, so that's my background. But I think what Nandi does is just as beautiful. She'll introduce herself. But Africa, we have a crisis, guys. Let me tell you what the crisis is. We are likely going to starve because all of our farmers are likely over 65. So when they die, if you are Gen Z, what are you going to eat? Ask yourself that question. What are you going to eat? give me access to the markets that I previously did not have, that I wanted to have. But it was also my responsibility to seek. And, uh, you know, in, in the seeking, I found the challenges and I thought, you know, how better can I actually change that for myself and people like myself in my position? Because it's not enough that I have the information that I've managed to be able to mitigate the challenges that I've had. Yes. So in closing my own gaps, I found it very pivotal that I also pull, uh, pull other people with me. So that, because if I win and, you know, I teach other people what I know, we win together. We have had everyone speak, but now I'm going to usher you into what I'm calling the grand debate. When I was preparing for this debate, I'm not going to be debating, they will come, the responsible debaters. But when I was preparing for this debate, I spoke to a few youth online. And what, we, what they were saying is that some of them, they asked me this question, what is after? They don't know. So, so honestly, my opening statement is just revolving around how did we get here? Why are we even saying and chanting for free trade? And how we got here is simply by the, um, the, the constraints that were produced by colonialism. And uh, as I have opened the water, it makes very good arguments for me. And all I would just like to make it very critical here is that the world is changing and it's changing rapidly so. And millions of young people are dying because there is no sustainable environment at their home countries. You saw by yourself every day on the news, young people that are running outside of the country. If you just go to the embassy, you'll find a queue, a long queue of young people. They want to go to Europe. While our, our grandfathers were taken by force, but for we young people, we <laughs> want to go by our parents. Wherever we teach people, wherever we teach them to be Africa oriented, therefore now you are actually teaching people how people, um, you are teaching whoever that wants to go into the business sector, how to be Afri uh, African oriented within the business sector, within the economy in itself, which means that the free trade can actually come now from the roots, going back up, which is what I've been saying, that if you look at 2063, it's true. The people who are setting all these visions and whatever, 
2063, where will they be? We don't know. Whenever we have these type of conversations, may they never be seen as uh, tick boxes. Yes. May we give birth to things that are that have to formulate in Africa. The Africa that we want, it, it won't just happen within a blink of, of an eye. It's, it, it has to be a work in progress. Actually, making the dream work. 
Edith Nandi, and you'll meet some more outside from um, Skills Village. They've made some merchandise that they're, they're, that they're trading as well. So please support the young people, and we wish you all the best, and we want to read about you in, in not newspapers, but online as well in the next year or so. So thank you so much to everyone and to all of you for being here. Uh, we do have some food prepared for you outside. Oh, is it this way? Okay, so after proceedings, we'll just walk out um, to network and uh, to enjoy the food as well.